When you want a small Class A motorhome that is up for any adventure, remember these three letters, R-U-V. Hi, I'm Steve from Thor Motor Coach, and this is the 2022 Axis. So RUV stands for Recreational Utility Vehicle. So you get an RV ready to take you anywhere and with everything inside from dinettes to Murphy beds to campsite kitchens, the Axis is outfitted for your trips. So we have three floor plans to show you today. What do you say we climb aboard the 2022 Axis? Here we are inside the 241 where it is easy mornings and relaxing evenings. This is just a nice, simple setup. On the wall slide, you have your sofa. The pedestal table is a breeze to set up. And look at this, now you have a place to sit and grab a meal. At night, take the table down, and now your sofa can be made into a bed. The kitchen in here is ready to get the job done. You have to flip out countertop extension, the large single bowl sink with cover, the gas cooktop, convection microwave, and your double door fridge. So I really like this setup in here as these bathroom doors swing open to give you more space than you think you would have in an RV of this size. Inside you have exactly what you need in a restroom, your shower, your sink, your porcelain toilet, and places for towels. And with the doors open, look at this, your closet is right here so you can get ready in one place. Here's the bedroom in the 24-1. This is a twin to king conversion, so you can use this in the configuration that best fits your travels. You also have this little storage cubby, some charging ports, and a TV. Up next, your 24.3, and this is a really cool setup. You have a few options going on here in the living area. This little dinette is hard to miss. And what's great about this is if you are traveling with four, everybody has their own place to sit for meals together or even get work done. Hey, you can even sit here and play a game. So we're over on the couch now, and there is more happening here than what it looks like. Right now, it looks like the table is set up and someone's about to have dinner. But after you clear it all out, you can easily pull down this Murphy bed and grab a good night's sleep. You are gonna love the amount of room in the 24.3 kitchen. This countertop is large, so you can be in charge of getting the gang around for a family meal. And how often does that happen when you're at home? All the gear is here to get the job done. And what really sets this floor plan apart is this entire wall of storage. It's a closet, it's a dresser, it's a pantry, it's whatever you need it to be. Your bathroom is in the rear and it has so much room and storage. And look at all these cubbies. Then you have a linen closet and here's your shower with skylight. So let's give this floor plan one more look and here we are in the 25.6. First, I want you to take a look around. So if you love the functionality that a Dream Dinette offers, then this is the floor plan for you. What I like about this dinette here is really the versatility. From meals, you can make it a mobile office, it all happens here, plus, yep, it makes into a bed. Your 25.6 kitchen has it all. Your sink, your cooktop, your convection microwave, and here you can see just how much more room the sink cover gives you when you have that in place. I wanna give you a quick look at the bathroom in here because with a setup like this, you are not gonna to need to use the bathhouse at the campground. You really do have everything you need in a bathroom right here, your shower, your sink, a porcelain toilet. It's everything you need when you travel. You have a different bedroom setup in here. You have a flip up or down, however you wanna look at it, queen bed. You have nice nightstands with charging ports for your gadgets. Flip it up, now it's a couch and another seating area for you. The closets back here have nice mirrored doors and they can hold whatever you need for your trip. You have a couple of features you're gonna find on every access floor plan, whether you want entertainment, maybe you need to connect to a mobile hotspot. We're gonna talk about all of that, but first I wanna start with Rapid Camp Plus. So new on Rapid Camp Plus is the cloud. So as long as your Rapid Camp Plus has a Wi-Fi signal and you do, wherever you happen to be, you can control your lights and your climate. We're gonna get that Wi-Fi signal going in just a minute, but once you have the RV Master app on your phone or tablet, you can now check your tank levels, dim the lights, put out the slides, and set the auto gen start for your gas generator. So let's set up at the flip out dash workstation and connect to the internet with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. First, choose a data plan. You can use your favorite carrier. You can even get one through WineGuard. Now you can create a one password hotspot and you can use that password even when you're connected to a nearby Wi-Fi signal. Also on the roof, your optional 100 watts of solar charging. Back under your roof, a cozy drop down overhead bunk and this telescoping ladder is easy to store. The swivel captain's chairs make into part of your living area, so now there's another place to sit and visit. 
All right, we have our table put away. Flip up dash workstation is put away. Passenger seat is swiveled around. Let's swivel the driver's seat around and get this axis out on the open road. What's really nice about the Axis is it is very easy to drive. It is very maneuverable and the controls are laid out in a very ergonomic, easy to read fashion. We'll start right over here. You do have heated remote mirrors. This toggle switch here turns on the mirror heat. This is how you take and dial in the mirrors, the view you wanna see. Remember you have an integrated camera on your left and on your right. So when you turn your directional on, whatever is in that camera will show up in the center on your TFT screen. Right over here, a button for your fog lights. You do have an auxiliary start switch right here. This switch down here controls your auto headlights. You dim or brighten the dash lights with the buttons on the side. Let's talk about your instrumentation here. There is a lot happening right in front of your eyes. You do have on your dash, your speedometer, your tachometer, your tripometer, your oil pressure, your coolant temp, your fuel gauge, your transmission temp, and your indicator lights. In between all that, you have a message center with a lot of information here. So let's go over this. The digital readout gives you two trip meters, a look at your fuel economy, how many miles you have left in the tank, how much oil life is left, how many hours you have on the engine, a voltmeter, everything you need is right here in front of you. You scroll through those menus using the thumb dial on the left here. Right below that is our cruise control. We do have our gear shift right over here. We'll talk about that once we get on the highway. We do have our hazard light button right down here. Moving over to your center stack, traction control, button for your nightshade, your generator start, and your cabin lights. Your HVAC controls are here. The USB port down here controls your Android Auto. You have 12 volt charging right here and your infotainment center. So let's talk about everything we have happening right here because this is a great setup here. This is a 10.1 inch infotainment center. It has all the bells and whistles you need for a road trip. You like music? You can choose your radio station. When you get tired of whatever music you're listening to from the town you're in, why not pull up Sirius XM satellite radio? Anything you could want right here at your fingertips. You do have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. What's nice about that ties right into your phone. You can also download your favorite RV specific app. That way you can put in the weight, the length, the height, everything about your access and know you're going down RV safe roads. As we go back and scroll through the screens here, next up your camera. What's on that 8,000 pound hitch? Press the button and you can take a look behind you at any point during your drive. Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth audio. You can even dial in the EQ and a couple of settings over here you want to tweak. There are hard buttons down below. You can press the house to go back home at any point. You can also do that on the touch screen. So some great features there. What we are going to do now, find our favorite jams. Turn them up and hit the road and take this axis out for an RV road test. So your Axis is gonna be built on an E-Series strip chassis. You have the E350 on the 24.1 and the 24.3 and the E450 on the 25.6. So what's the difference? On the 450, you have a higher GVWR and GCWR. So you're gonna get a little more towing. Under the hood, both the 350 and 450 give you the power of the Godzilla 7.3 liter V8. When you put the hammer down, 350 horsepower, 468 pound-feet of torque, that's such a good feeling. So all that power is tied into a torque shift, select shift, six speed transmission. It's designed to be used in heavy duty applications, just like we are rolling in this axis down the highway here. You also have a tow haul mode and full manual on this transmission. The tow haul mode is gonna tweak your shift pattern so there's gonna be less gear hunting. If you want full manual, put your gear shift in M and then there is a plus minus on the stock and you can select your own gears right from here. You also have hill start assist, and simply put, this keeps you from rolling forward or backward down a hill. What this does is it keeps brake pressure applied for two seconds while you move your foot from the brake to the gas. So when we went over the dash buttons, we talked about traction control. You can turn it on or off right from here, and you'll get a little icon on your dashboard whether or not it's on or off. What this is going to do for you is give you less white knuckle driving in bad weather. So when the axis feels the wheel slipping, it's going to apply the necessary brake to keep your wheels from spinning. That's going to help you maintain traction. The axis also has electronic stability control. And if you want to be fancy, call it ESC. Using sensors from your steering and acceleration, it actually detects when you're about to slip and slide. So what's going to happen is the axis is going to step in, it's going to apply the brakes for you to keep you from sliding. You get a nice smooth ride in this axis as you have a twin I-beam independent front suspension, you have computer selected coil screens, you have a nice stabilizer bar, 
Sounds pretty fancy, right? So what do you say we power off to camp and take a closer look at all the goodies on the outside of this RUV? Here we are, we arrived. The first thing I wanna talk about is just how good this Axis looks. You have two graphics packages to choose from. This is called Painted Desert, and this blue is called Stratus. So I think it's time we get this Axis set up and ready for some outdoor living. So first, let's put down those optional electric stabilizers. Now pull up Rapid Camp Plus on your phone. This is a one-touch power patio. Put this out when you want some shade. You got your camping chairs underneath. This is an excellent outdoor setup. I like this over here. You have an exterior propane connection so you can easily hook up your own grill like this. The Axis is a great way to experience everything the outdoors has to offer. And with a 12-year structural, six-year lamination, and one-year limited warranty, the Axis is going to take you on years of adventures. This is the 2022 Axis from Thor Motor Coach. For all the specs, features, and to find the Axis floor plan made to fit you, visit thormotorcoach.com. <laughs>